welcome back, folks, to the Guild of Dungeoneering. And when last we left off, we weren't going to build any of these loot items here. We're going to build the Idol of the Trickster, so that we can always have plus one loot choice whenever we decide to go and get any loot whatsoever, which is going to be very, very handy in dealing with sharp wit here. We want to uh, get as many good items as we possibly can, and so we're going to try our luck at defeating this enemy again, this time with the uh, idol that gives us permanent additional loot choices, which is really good. We only have so many turns to do this. So let's go, shall we? We're going to put this here, and do I want to face a yak or do I want to face a brainchild? Hmm. I think a brainchild here is a perfectly good choice to fight against. There we go. We have eight turns for the big rematch. Let's see how we do, shall we? Well, that's a pretty good, um, card to see at the beginning, just to obliterate this brainchild some. And I think the brainchild is pretty much dead, which is brilliant. There we go. Right, what do we have? Uh, not good, not good, not good, and I suppose we might as well take it. It is plus one health, if nothing else. We are indeed not insane, but we are going to try and, uh, fight some enemies namely a level 2 enemy right here. For the sooner we get to higher levels, the better off we'll be. Or in the worst case scenario, we'll just have to uh, try our best to get good loot. All right, here we go. Um, do I want that? No, actually I don't. I want to draw a different card. If successful, it um, makes us um, be unable to see what we have, which is fine. So damage, damage, health. There we go. Maybe we'll want health, maybe we'll want damage. Let's find out. You know what? Damage is fine here. I think we are in a good position. What have we got? Actually, I think we've just pretty much won. Brilliant! Jada 7, victorious! What have we got? That's a good item. That's a pretty good item. That's also a good item. The tenacious ability is pretty good. That, however, appears to be a little bit better. Or is it? Actually, I think this one is better, because Tenacious is far more versatile. There we go. So we have six turns. We can go five, four, three, two. We can go five, four, three, two, one. No. This is six, five, four, three, two. Okay. We have plenty of time. So we might as well just uh, put this here and do that. There we are, we might as well actually start building our route over here. Brilliant! One level two opponent to give us even more loot! What do we want to do here? We want to draw a card, because we have plenty of cards to choose from. Do we want this one? Of course we want that one, because that one is a brilliant card. Hmm, can't really block anything, so we might as well just draw a card. There we are! Goodbye, Interrupt! You're a good card, but I suppose we can uh, do pretty well without you. Alright. One more! Excellent! We have the scoop for victory! And if nothing else and we lose horribly, we get a lot of gold. Ooh! That is nice. That is also not bad at all. That gives us a swift three. That gives us nothing particularly interesting, that gives us blade 2. We're going to take this, lose 1 health, but gain 1 health, because we gained a level. Well, last time anyway. Oh dear, enemies seem intent on chasing us, so we're going to have to put down some level 3 opponents here. Like this spider brain. And we don't yet have a, a uh, route to link um, us to the boss, so we might as well just make our way over there. Hello spider brain, how are you? You are frail, so we want to use a lot of physical attacks against you. Like this, um, scoop card here. Three damage! Brilliant! Ah, if successful, it confuses us, so... We might as well draw a card here, and, uh... One block and health. There we go. What do we want? One block? Actually... This card. It's just damage in the end, um... Uh, there's not really much else we could do. Alright, what do we have? Two damage, and we could heal here? That's actually a really good idea. It's a really good idea because we don't want to die here. We could... Ah, just, I was sort of waiting and hoping that we get a card that would allow us to um, just deal damage really quickly, but no. 
Alas, we have perished, which is unfortunate. But we do get loot if nothing else. Oh wait! We gained health! We gained health there somehow. I'm curious as to how we gained health, but I don't mind because we won. Hmm, that's not bad. That, however, is worth getting rid of Way of the Scoop for. The ability to have that block all card is brilliant. How did we gain health there? I'm curious. Nope, I have no idea how we gained health. But hey, we gained health and thus... Oh! Tenacious. Because the um, attack would knock us to below one health and we weren't on one health, we therefore survived, which is good. Aha! I knew taking that item would be useful. Brilliant. Let's go. One brain bot, I think we can deal with you. Yes, we can deal with you. We don't want to take that damage at all. What do we want to discard here? This one. That's not a particularly useful item anymore. Alright, uh, we'll just gain some health here, I think. I'd rather have had the insight card here, but we couldn't choose what we wanted. If successful, it confuses us, so that is just a swift to unblockable physical attack. Alright. Might as well use this, I suppose. Ah well, we draw two cards if nothing else. What do we get? If successful, I really wish I had that card before, but hey, we'll do this here. I think we might die here horribly. Horribly? Oh no, maybe not. Do we want to... we want to draw a card here. We want to draw a card and get closer to that block all attack. Aha! There we go. And now everything's been shuffled through. What do we get? Yep, we'll keep that. We'll keep that card most certainly. And do we want to use it right now? No, we want to use this card now. There we go. Just to uh, block that attack. And uh, we won't win if we take that damage at all. So we need to block this. There we go. Excellent. We have a lot of cards here. A lot of cards. In fact, we could uh, nearly win here if we deal this two points of damage here, like that, and then we hope that, yep, we can go first and thus secure victory. That was close. What do we get? Uh, that's okay. That's really not good. That's really terrible. And that's... Hmm. We lose arcane cards, but we gain growth cards. Growth cards are actually really good, so uh, we'll take that. And then from the uh, treasure chest... Ooh. That's okay. That is not that great. And that we lose way too much. We're just losing way too much stuff here, so we're just going to have to uh, take some gold instead. This enemy is going to move into us, meaning we have to fight another level 3 opponent, which means even more loot. And this time we have a lot of uh, cards that will let us um, resist damage, but nothing that will actually let us deal damage. And it doesn't matter anyway, because that card uh, is just going to deal a lot of damage to us. But we're going to uh, deal with most of it. We kindle here just to uh, negate that damage and get some more damage dealt to uh, the enemy there. Hmm. I think the shift card is useful here, just to draw us a little further into our deck. There we go. Now is the time to use haste. No damage for you, plenty of cards for me. And our deck is actually pretty sparse, which allows us to um, deal a lot of damage. Um, you can discard a card, certainly. There's really not much you'd want to discard. Oh no, not that card. Actually, I really didn't want that card at all. And we've got it back, uh, typically. We could uh, use scoop here just to get rid of it. And to deal a little bit of damage. Ah, that's not great. We could actually use Frozen Yoga here, just to basically deal one damage. For, uh, nothing at all. And I think if we deal a uh, significant amount of damage back, just, uh, two points here, we can win once again. Brilliant! Alright. And, ooh, that's worth it just for the spiky trait. That's worth it just for spiky. That gives us some nice stuff, but this is... Yeah, we gain spiky, and all we need now is the Doom Plate. That's all we need. And now we have a way to get to the boss, which is brilliant. We'll uh, put that there, and we'll put that there to ensure that we have plenty of things to fight along the way. 
Alright. All we need is that Doom Plate. And there's no reason not to just deal lots of damage here because of the frail trait of the uh, Gelato Cube. There we go. Do we want to block this? Yes we do, because we deal extra damage because of that frail trait. And spiky, which is even better. Two more points of damage, secure victory for us. Brilliant. And now, what do we want? Red mail is not any good. That gives us blade three, but we lose tenacious. You know what, I actually want to keep tenacious, so that's no good. That's really bad, we don't want decay. And that is just awful. So we'll just take some gold, thank you. You may be chasing us, but that will not help you. You think ice cream is so great, eh? You know it's made out of hooves, right? Is it? Is it? I don't like that at all. But we shall prove you wrong by defeating you in combat. Well, hopefully we'll defeat you in combat. The, um... Ooh, that's not so good. Fortunately, it's as if we have Way of the Scoop here, thanks to the uh, frail trait. And we could actually... Hmm. I think actually we're going to use Rekindle here, because we want to save that card. Yes, that means we only have uh, this one to pick, but actually it's not a bad one, because uh, that's two damage as opposed to the opponent's one. And there's three damage as opposed to the opponent's one. Excellent! A nice item to finish this off. The Doom Plate! It is ours! Yes! So we have Spiky, Tenacious, and that trait. I think we're doing pretty well this time. Let's go! Hello there, Sharper Wit! We are going to defeat you, and we're gonna put a gem here just to sweeten the deal. Let's go! Hey, I wasn't finished with all my evil gloating, spoiled sport! Three favor for us. Hello, massive deck that I'm really worried about. I'm really worried about this massive deck that I'm up against. Look at all those really good cards! Oh dear. He damage, and- oh no wait! Thanks to that trait, that doesn't happen! Ha <laughs> ha! That's really good. I want to use this and do some healing now. You may put up your defenses, but that won't help you- oh! And this will ensure that no damage is taken, thanks to the Doom Plate! The Doom Plate is just brilliant! Per damage, one healing. Well, that's not good at all. We just sort of want to deal some damage back, which really doesn't help, because that just negates all the damage that we dealt. Aha! More damage for you! Kapow! More cards for me! Oh, that's really not good. However, because you're dealing an unblockable attack, this deals a bonus point of damage! Which means we win! Aha! Victory for Chain of Seven! Excellent! Do you have any decency, I wonder? Like the Ivory League of Explorers. Instead you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of... marauders. And now we have a sauna to put down. Born of the mountain, bred in the wild, sweet sound to the ear of the beholder. A voice I used to hear as a child. Okay, we're having that problem again with the uh, typing. There we go. There we go. We shall uh, name a yodeler here once the caps lock works. There we go. Hello, Garrick. How are you? What on earth can you actually do? That is a good question. If you take plus three damage in a turn, power up all yodels in hand. Ah, after played card gains. Oh, it has that mechanic. You also have plus two health, choose two cards to recycle. Hmm. If successful, burn enemy played card. Burn it? That means they probably can't play it again. Hmm. There's a lot of physical attacks here. A lot of them. But we're not quite done yet, as you can see. I thought that would be the end, but I was wrong. Also, what do we get here? Brain in a jar. Well, it might very well be his brain. But we have one more thing to do. 
Well, the trice cream is real and tastes quite top shelf. It would be a shame, I feel, to keep for oneself. This stuff is amazing! Like an angel made sweet, sweet love to ambrosia in a gold-plated igloo and nine months later this majestic dessert arrived into the world. I've been studying the recipe book more and more. The processes the monks use to create just tiny amounts of trice cream is absolutely nuts! It's all about slow marches with the holy scoop, intricate weaving of the cones, weeks of mixing in the glacial pits to create a magical combination of flavours. What ritualistic... um... Artisan I nonsense. There's no way they're keeping this stuff for them themselves. It's hot down here, and the people of this town deserve the relief that the dry cream can bring. And I deserve to be able to sell it to them at inflated prices. Is that artisanal? I think it's artisanal, not artisan I. It's that is I'm not sure if that's an L. I think it's an L, it's artisanal. Never seen that word before. Ah well, there is one more level to do, and that is betrayal at Frozen Peak. Set charges and acquire ice cream. All right, Garrick, this is up to you. The yodeler's time to shine. It may not be your time to shine, but hey, it's worth a go. I don't think they're happy. At all. Hey, what in the name of the earthen cow are you doing? Um, stealing ice cream? I think that's what I'm doing. Here are the ice cream monks, and they are aggressive. They don't like me, and I'm not very surprised. Also, I really don't have very far I can go, but I'll put this here so that I can head in this direction. Except I'm not going to head in this direction, because this direction is a terrible way to go. Yodel he who indeed, Garrick. Go and fight this ice cream monk. Ah, you appear to pretty much be uh, dealing physical cards, but that's okay, because um, we're gonna yodel. This card will now be even more powerful! Now it's Yodelay! Also, we want to uh, just deal more damage. Ah, okay, so every time you do it, it gets... how oh, the name gets stuck over. I quite like that. Uh, we want to burn that card so that you never get to play that again. Oh, it's just gone! Yep, it's never back. And unfortunately, we're dealing one point of damage to ourselves, which is kind of terrible. Ah, however, we can heal ourselves. There we go. Brilliant. And that ensures our victory. There we go. Goodbye, Yodel. But it's irrelevant because we won. Hmm, Ski Goggles seem like a really good idea, as these enemies seem to have a nice mixture of things, and I'd rather have the health and the armor card. And we're going to head this way to uh, go plant the explosives there. All right. That yodeler is trying to melt the ice cream! Stop them! Oh, you'll try! That is a scooper trooper. That's not a scoop. This is a scoop! Um, I think I'm just gonna head this way because there is nothing really to, uh, do here. And there are no enemies to fight. Also, you are chasing me. I thought you were our friend! When did- when was this ever a thing? Have I ever been your friend? I, I don't know, but um, either way, we're going to uh, we're going to fight some encounters. Here is the uh, the mix master. What have you got to uh, say? Well, we're going to yodel at you. Yodel cards are certainly a slow. Ooh, after card is played, it, it gets unblockable. That's pretty good, and we don't want you to do that anymore, ever. There you go. You can never do that. Oh, wow. Fortunately, we have the Alpine Brew card, which is really good in this instance. There we go. We shall shuffle and might as well block. We don't want you to steal our cards, that's for certain. And now we're just going to, uh, we're just going to use the, um, Das Big Roar here. There we go. I think you stole that card, which is really not good. Because you're going to deal two points of damage to me, and now we dealt none. However, one point of damage here and one point of damage there. Can we win? The answer is maybe. Maybe. 
No damage? Oh, that's unfortunate. Damage was dealt and Garrick has been slain. Alas, but we tried. Once again they tried in vain to overcome and not be slain, but overrun and very scared. Our heroes fell in battle. <laughs> There are a lot of dead Dungeoneers there, but that's okay, for we still have to absolutely betray the Ice Cream Monks. Or are we betraying them? Because really we didn't ever say we'd come and help them, did we? We just wanted to get the ice cream for ourselves. And so, when we come back for- OH NO! NO, THIS CAN'T BE HAPPENING, MATEY! NO, THAT'S NOT FAIR! But what's up? My- my account! It's been banned! Banned? Why has it been banned? Apparently, I've been botting viewers! I, I, I've never been botting viewers! I mean, there are no bots in my chat whatsoever! Are you sure about that? Absolutely! I mean, I know BrainBot1007 exceptionally well! I mean, sure, his interests are exactly the same as all the other BrainBots in the chat, but... But they, they can't all be bots, can they? I did warn you that that was a possibility. You're just... You were just jealous! You... You... I was right, wasn't I? You were probably right. All of the bots were banned and I was banned as well. They said I was complicit in it, but I, I swear, matey, I, I didn't know. I just wanted to stream things that people liked. Did you have any real viewers? No, matey. When they all got banned, I saw my, uh... My viewer account dropped, and eventually it got to zero, and then... And then my account was banned, too. What is it with my attempts to be successful? I mean, I, I try! I really try! I, I yo-ho, and I swashbuckle, and I pieces of eight, and I adventure, and... And it never works. When do you actually do that? What? I mean, when do you actually go out and adventure? Well, I go sometimes with you lot. But when you do, you sort of just stand there and and look on and say nothing, and it's almost like you're not there. I mean, when was the last time you went and had a proper adventure? Gone to the Pirate's Cove and did some swashbuckling? I know you're trying to cheer me up, matey, but my live streaming career is over, and I was almost close to my objective on my donations. Were you? What was your objective? Uh, one piece of eight. And uh, how close were you? How many pieces of eight did you get? None. So you weren't close at all? You're just rubbing it in! I- I tried! I- really <laughs> Have a handkerchief. Is it a piratey handkerchief? Yes, it's a very piratey handkerchief. You just drew a skull and crossbones on it. Yes, yes I did. I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> I just need some time to be alone for a little while. Yar. That is a shame. But when we come back, folks, we'll um, go and try and steal ice cream for fun and profit. Well, our fun and profit, not theirs. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.